Okay, so you're building a house thinking about all things sustainable. Right. Wow. Right. Well, buckle up because today's deep dive is all about something that's both practical and good for the planet. Okay. Biodigesters. Yeah. We've got a stack of articles and research here, and let me tell you, it's way more fascinating than it sounds. You're not kidding. When I first saw this topic, I have to admit, I wasn't exactly jumping for joy. Yeah. But honestly, the potential here is huge, especially yeah. as we all become more aware of our environmental impact. Right. It's like dealing with waste is one of those universal things, kind of like trying to figure out what to do with all those plastic grocery bags. Exactly. But here's the thing. What if we could take that waste and actually turn it into something useful? That's where biodigesters come in. Okay, so for those of us who are just hearing about this for the first time, can you give us a quick rundown of what a biodigester actually is? Absolutely. Imagine a sealed container, kind of like a giant steel stomach for your house. You feed it all your organic waste, food scraps, yard waste, even that stuff you'd rather not talk about. Right. And inside, microorganisms break it all down. So it's like composting, but way more high tech. Exactly. And this is where it gets really cool. As these microorganisms break down the waste, they release biogas, which is primarily methane. Okay. And guess what? Methane can be used as fuel for things like cooking or heating your home. Whoa. So we're talking about turning our trash into actual treasure here. You got it. And it's not just the biogas. The process also creates a byproduct called digestate, which is basically a nutrient-rich fertilizer. So you're reducing waste, creating renewable energy, and getting free fertilizer all in one go. Okay, now that is impressive. I'm starting to see why you were so excited about this topic. It's pretty remarkable, right? Yeah. And the best part is that there are different types of biodigesters out there designed to fit various needs and lifestyles. It's like choosing the right house. Mm -hmm. There's one out there for everyone. Okay, you've definitely piqued my interest. So let's say I'm convinced and ready to explore my options. What kind of biodigester houses are on the market? Well, the materials you shared actually categorize them in a way that makes it easy to understand. Think of it like this. There's a biodigester for the average family, one for larger families or those who love to entertain, and even options for businesses or community use. Wow, a whole race of options. <laughs> All right, let's break it down. Tell me more about that average family biodigester. What makes it so, well, average? This one is designed for, say, a family living in a one to three bedroom house, you know, the standard setup. Got it. Makes sense. But how do you know if it's the right size for your family? What if you have a lot of people living under one roof or maybe your family that loves to host big dinner parties? You're thinking like a true deep diver. That's where it gets even more interesting. These standard biodigesters are designed around the concept of daily flushes. Think about it. That's a pretty consistent way to gauge how much waste a household generates, right? That's actually really clever. Yeah. So how many flushes are we talking about for this standard size? Our research suggests it's designed to handle about 18 flushes per day. Okay, so not every single trip to the bathroom then. Exactly. It's more about the heavy lifting, if you will. And while it can handle the occasional surge, like that big party you mentioned, it's important to consider your regular day-to-day -day usage. You don't want to overwhelm the system. Right. Makes total sense. You want it to run smoothly and efficiently. So let's say my family falls into that we love to entertain category. Or maybe we've got a full house with a few generations living together. What are our options then? Is there a biodigester for that? Absolutely. And this is where our source material gets really specific, which I appreciate. It talks about a standard family, medium-sized biodigester, kind of a Goldilocks option. Not too small, not too big, but just right for a growing family or those who love to entertain. I like it. So what makes this one the perfect fit for those scenarios? Well, think four bedrooms, maybe even a holiday property that sees a lot of action, or even a small office setting. It's designed to handle a larger volume of waste compared to the standard size, yeah, giving you that extra capacity you need. Okay, that makes sense. It's like upgrading to a bigger car when your family starts to grow. Right. You need more space, right. Now, for those who need even more capacity, you know, those with really big families or maybe even multiple households sharing resources, mm -hmm. what's the biodigester solution? That's where we step into the realm of the large family size biodigester. Now, this one is designed for serious waste management. So we're talking mansions, large family compounds, that kind of thing. Give me the details. You got it. Think five to eight bedrooms, potentially even a two-story building, mm -hmm. or rental properties with multiple units. Wow. That's a lot of bedrooms. So if someone's building a mini mansion, this is the biodigester they'd want. Yeah. But I have to ask, 
With that much going on, are there any special considerations? I mean, it can't be as simple as just installing a bigger tank, right? You're absolutely right to be thinking about the practicalities. It's like anything else. Right. The bigger you go, um, the more complex things can get. Okay, so what are we talking about here? What are the things someone needs to be mindful of when choosing a biodigester for a larger property? Well, water management becomes absolutely crucial. It's not just about the waste itself, but also how much water is being used and how effectively it can be absorbed back into the environment. So it's kind of like making sure your plumbing can handle the extra load. Exactly. And this is where our source material really gets into the nitty gritty, which is super helpful. It talks about something called a soak away system, okay. which is basically a way to manage the treated wastewater that comes out of the biodigester. Okay. So explain that, like, I'm just learning about this for the first time because, well, I am. What does a soak away system actually do? Sure. Imagine it like this. The biodigester does its job breaking down the waste, but what's left still needs somewhere to go. The soak away system helps that treated water slowly seep back into the ground without causing any harm. Ah, that makes sense. So with a larger biodigester, you'd need a more robust soak away system to handle the increased volume of treated water. Precisely. And this is where factors like soil type and drainage come into play. It's not a one-size-fits-all situation. So you're saying that even if someone has a big family and thinks they need a large biodigester, the soil on their property might not be suitable. Exactly. And that's why it's so important to consult with experts who can assess your specific needs and conditions. They can analyze your soil, calculate your water usage, and recommend the best system for your situation. That makes a lot of sense. It's like you wouldn't just guess what size shoes to buy, right? Right. You want to mm -hmm. make sure you get the perfect fit. Exactly. And speaking of fit, there's one more biodigester category we haven't even touched on yet. It's the one that really blew my mind when I was reading your materials, the extra large commercial industrial size. Okay, now we're talking serious business. Mm -hmm. This is for like entire apartment buildings or factories, right? You're getting warmer. Think schools, churches, industrial facilities, places with hundreds of users every single day. Wow, that's incredible. So these biodigesters must be absolutely massive. They can be. And the logistics of installing and maintaining one are on a whole other level. This is where things get really specialized in terms of engineering and wastewater treatment. So you're saying that a simple soak away system just won't cut it for these behemoths? Not even close. We're talking about dedicated wastewater treatment plants, sophisticated monitoring systems, the works. It's a massive undertaking, but the potential benefits are equally massive. Okay, I'm getting the sense that this is where individual homeowners like me probably don't need to venture, right? I mean, unless I'm planning to build a biodigester-powered amusement park in my backyard. Right. For most listeners, the first three categories are going to be the most relevant. But it's still fascinating to learn about the possibilities, right? Right. Absolutely. It really highlights how versatile this technology is. But I think for the average person, the biggest question is probably still, how do I know which biodigester is right for me? That's the million dollar question. And luckily, our source material gives some really good pointers. OK, I'm all ears. What are the key things people should consider when trying to choose the perfect biodigester for their needs? Well, we've touched on a few of them already, but let's put it all together. First and foremost, you need to consider your household size. How many people are going to be using the system on a regular basis? That's your starting point. Got it. Number of users, check. What else? Next, think about your typical water usage. Are you a family that's really conscious about conserving water? Or do you have teenagers who love taking hour-long showers? Oh, I think most of us can relate to that last one. Okay, so water usage is key. Mm -hmm. What else should people be thinking about? Well, we've talked a lot about soak away systems, and this is where it becomes really important to be realistic about your property and your local environment. What type of soil do you have? How is the drainage in your area? These are all factors that will influence what type of biodigester will work best for you. That makes sense. It's not just about the biodigester itself, but also how it integrates with the existing environment, kind of like how you wouldn't plant a cactus in a rainforest. Perfect analogy. It's all about finding the right fit for your specific needs and your surroundings. So if someone's listening to this and thinking, okay, this is all fascinating, but I have no idea where to even begin, what advice would you give them? That's where the real fun begins. I always tell people the best way to learn is by doing. Start by reaching out to some local experts, you know, companies that specialize in installing these systems. Right. And I bet a lot of those companies offer free consultations or site assessments so you can get personalized advice based on your specific property and needs. 
Exactly. They can look at your land, assess your water usage, and help you figure out which biodigester would be the best fit. It's like finding the perfect pair of jeans. You might have a general idea of what you want, but it really helps to have an expert guide you to that ideal style and fit. I love that analogy. And while you're doing your research, don't underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned internet search. There's a wealth of information out there about biodigesters, articles, videos, even forums where people share their experiences. It's amazing how much you can learn just by tapping into those online communities. You can find people who've actually installed these systems in their homes and get their first-hand insights. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to ask questions, even if they seem silly. The more you understand about how these systems work, the better equipped you'll be to make an informed decision. Well said. And, you know, thinking about all this really makes you realize that something as seemingly mundane as waste management can actually be a gateway to some pretty big conversations, right? Okay, totally. We've talked about individual households, but imagine the impact if entire communities embraced this technology. We could be talking about a future with less waste, cleaner energy, and a smaller environmental footprint. It's almost like a ripple effect. What starts as a personal decision to install a biodigester in your backyard could potentially inspire a much larger movement towards sustainability. Exactly. And that's what's so exciting about this topic. It's not just about the technology itself, but the potential it holds to transform the way we think about waste, energy, and our relationship with the planet. Well said. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? We've gone from what exactly is a biodigester mm. to envisioning a future where entire communities are powered by this incredible technology. It just goes to show you there's always something new to learn, even about the things we might take for granted every single day. And that, my friends, is what the deep dive is all about. Yeah. So until next time, keep those minds curious. And remember, even waste can be a source of inspiration. So if someone's listening to this and thinking, okay, this is all fascinating, but I have no idea where to even begin, what advice would you give them? Well, I always tell people, the best way to learn is by doing. A great first step is reaching out to some local experts, you know, companies that specialize in installing these systems. Yeah, and I bet a lot of those companies offer free consultations or site assessments so you can get personalized advice based on your specific property and needs. Exactly. They can look at your land, assess your water usage, and help you figure out which biodigester would be the best fit for you. Yeah, it's like finding the perfect pair of jeans. You might have a general idea of what you want, but it really helps to have an expert guide you to that ideal style and fit. I love that analogy. And while you're doing your research, don't underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned internet search. Right. There's a wealth of information out there about biodigesters. Articles, videos, even forums where people share their experiences. Oh, for sure. It's amazing how much you can learn just by tapping into those online communities. You can find people who've actually installed these systems in their homes and get their first-hand insights. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to ask questions even if they seem silly. The more you understand about how these systems work, the better equipped you'll be to make an informed decision. Well said. And, you know, thinking about all this really makes you realize that something as seemingly mundane as waste management can actually be a gateway to some pretty big conversations, right? Totally. I mean, we've talked about individual households, but imagine the impact if entire communities embrace this technology. We could be talking about a future with less waste, cleaner energy, and a smaller environmental footprint. It's almost like a ripple effect. What starts as a personal decision to install a biodigester in your backyard could potentially inspire a much larger movement towards sustainability. Exactly. And that's what's so exciting about this topic. It's not just about the technology itself, but the potential it holds to transform the way we think about waste, energy, and our relationship with the planet. Well said. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? It has. We've gone from what exactly is a biodigester to envisioning a future where entire communities are powered by this incredible technology. It just goes to show you there's always something new to learn, even about the things we might take for granted every single day. And that, my friends, is what the deep dive is all about. So until next time, keep those minds curious and remember, even waste can be a source of inspiration.